gravity, you know, gravity. Hi there. Welcome back. Today I'm going to review or talk about two bags that are very, very similar, but there's a lot of differences as well. So let's get into that. I'm going to talk about the laptop backpack from Portland Leather and the, I can't remember what this one's called. I'll put it up here. And it is from Parker Clay. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about the size differences because that is probably the most um, frequently asked thing. And so here they are side by side. You can see the Portland is a little taller. Okay, so from the side, and I'm going to actually measure this. And the way I'm going to measure the depth is I'm going to measure this seam right here. So on the Parker Clay, it's two and a quarter inches. And on the Portland Leather, it's three and a quarter inches. So Portland Leather gives you another inch on this dimension right here. Now, when I compare them side to side, let me look at the zippers. I'm going to go with zipper end to end. Portland is 12 and a half inches. Parker Clay is 11 and a half inches. Let's look at the height too. Parker Clay is 14 inches high. Portland leather is it says 14 and a half, almost 15 inches high. So it looks like it gives you an inch in every direction if you go with Portland leather. So you get an inch taller, an inch wider, and an inch deeper. That's good to know. Um, the other difference is the pocket in the front. The Portland leather pocket goes much deeper. And the Parker Clay, and I have this one packed out. Let me take all my stuff out of it. You can sort of see how it poofs when it's packed out. So there's the Parker Clay when there's not much in that front pocket. Okay, so when the Parker Clay is packed up, you can see that even though it's only, what would I say, two and a quarter inches this way, it does bow out. Uh, and everything sort of puddles at the bottom of the bag, which is going to be normal in a, a backpack where all your stuff is gravity, you know, gravity, uh, going to the bottom. If you had this um, packed up more all the way to the top, it would probably um, be more uniform, but I have a lot of extra space. You can get a good look at what the bag looks like, and I'll be putting the same things in each bag. So that's the front, that's the side. Now I did add a few features to this one. I did a video on um, alterations I made to this bag. So when I turn this around, you're gonna see some things that do not come standard with this bag. So here's the back. It has a single loop where the backpack straps attach. It does not come with these. It does not come with this back zipper and it does not come with the security uh, clips. So when you look at this, all you'll, you know, if you look at this on the website, all you'll see is the straps. So it does, that's another difference with the way they attach. The Parker clay straps attach with a D ring uh, to the middle. The Portland leathers attach they're sewn in, and this is sewn on, and um, there's no there's no D-ring up here. The there's a little bit of difference in the handle drop. The Parker Clay handle drop is four and a half inches, and Portland Leather's handle drop is two and a half inches. So there is a difference there. I actually like this one. So it just gives you a little bit more to to grab. Oh, one more thing, how they're attached on the side. Parker Clay sewn in with um, Chicago screws to adjust. So you have a little less hardware on the Parker Clay. 
the Portland leather is a, <clears throat> excuse me, is a sewn in D ring with a buckle adjustment. Okay, so you've seen how this one's packed out, what it looks like when it's all loaded. And honestly, I don't carry that much. So let's move everything over to the Portland leather goods bag. I went to the dentist today. I had this bag in there I didn't know I had. All the dental goodies. And this is what this one looks like. Packed out the same. They pretty much look the same. This um, doesn't bulge quite as much because it's got more room. And there is some better organization inside this bag with the internal pocket. See if I can get you a picture of that. Can you see that pocket in there? It's got a good amount of room. So some of the smaller things don't fall to the bottom of the bag. The other thing I want to talk about on these bags is the zippers. Now I did some research on zippers. These bags are using the same brand of zipper. Even though the pull looks a little different, it's the same brand and it's a fabulous fabulous zipper and one of the things you can do to tell if your zipper is this brand is to okay you see this part of the zipper it's called the slider right there not the pull the slider if you'll flip the bag if you can inside out just right there so you can see the underside of the slider and you'll see the the letters G2 That is a brand of zipper um, that is fabulous. It is, for me, it is the smoothest zipper I have ever seen on any types of bags. And they both use those zippers. If I flip this one out, I see the G2 as well. You can buy these zippers, by the way. Um, I'll give you some information that I've found. Uh, I think you can buy them on Etsy from some people. For the most part, I believe they sell to bag makers, but they do have, you, there are some ways to get them individually for home sewers. So if you want to make a bag, I highly recommend the G2 zipper. So that is my comparison of these two very, very similar bags. They both come in a variety of leathers. And so look on the website. This is an older bag. I bought it pre-owned. And so I don't know that this specific leather is still available. It's more of a matte finish. I think the newer ones are a shinier finish. Um, these are made in Ethiopia. These are made in Mexico by Portland Leather. This is an American company. I think this is an American company that employs Ethiopian women. So um, look up Parker Clay. It tells you all about the company. Um, and if you'll notice, I have a few little goodies on this bag. I'm making bag charms now. And this is one of my designs. I have another one here. This is the one everybody's been getting. And I have three different metal tones available. And just look how that moves on the bag. It's really, really fun. And then this one, you can see how it moves. It's more of teardrops, various teardrops. This was my, these are both my prototypes, actually. These are the ones I carry on my bags. So these are available in my second Etsy shop, which is Kali Wobbles Designs. I'll put the information up there. You can also find earrings like these I'm wearing now on that shop site. So hop over there, see if there's anything you like. Um, that's how I fund my leather bags. So yeah, go get something. All right. I hope you enjoyed that comparison and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.